Good morning. You are with the Silver Linings Librarian, Ms. Coviello. This is our second reading for the Green Park Elementary students and friends and kids everywhere who are at home in the next couple weeks. We are at the Tree of Life in Audubon Park, New Orleans, Louisiana, and it's beautiful here. So we're going to read The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Here's a picture of him. Scared generation of children, but there's nothing to be afraid of because he's a great writer and great man. Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. For Nikki. Once upon a time there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come and he would gather her leaves and make them into a crown and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk swing from her branches and eat apples and they would play hide and go seek and when he was tired he would sleep in her shade. The boy loved the tree very much. The tree was happy. Time went by boy grew older and the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree. I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, okay, and the sell them in the city. Okay? Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. The boy stayed away for a long time. And the tree got sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and she said, come boy, climb up my trunk, swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. <clears throat> I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. Forest is my house but you may cut off my branches and build a house and then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. The boy stayed away for a long time and when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too sad, boy, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. The tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree. I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, said the tree. I wish that I could give you something. 
and I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. Very tired. Well, said this tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. So this is a story that a lot of people have had problems with over the years. Some people think it doesn't teach children the right thing boy is selfish. He's a taker. The tree is a doormat. What do you think? She is the giving tree after all. Is the tree doing the right thing to give everything to the boy? Is that the right way to have a relationship? Also, some people say it's a metaphor that the tree is like nature and the boy is like all the people and we're using the nature up book about time and time passing. What do you think the book is about? Do you think it has a good message? Start asking questions when you read a story. Ask your mom and dad to read one with you and ask them what they think. Is this still a good story for children or is this story teaching us a bad message? Those are some of the questions a lot of people have when they read this story and I hope you'll get your own copy of The Giving Tree and read it together with your family.